I am going to teach you everything you need to know about taming a bee and setting up your first beehives in Ark Survival Ascended, as well as teaching you some of the things you can use honey for in Ark that you may not know about. As it stands right now, there's currently two ways to tame a bee, by finding a bee on the loose or by destroying the hive and releasing the queen. Before you think about taming a bee, you'll need to do some preparation. One of the first things you're going to need is bug repellent, which you unlock at level 16 and you craft in either a mortar and pestle or a chemistry bench. You'll need citronal narcotic pelt and rock carrot. I've also found bug spray in some of the supply drops, so keep an eye out for it and grab it when you see it. To tame the queen, you'll need one of two foods, either rare flower or preferred is simple kibble if you can make it. I also recommend bringing medical brews if you have some in case you get stung and also some cooked meat to help you heal up. If you plan on destroying a nest, always bring a spyglass and it's also recommended to wear ghillie to make you less noticeable to the angry worker bees that surround the queen. After you've prepped, it's time to get taming. Firstly, let's look into bees on the loose because this is the easier of the options. I'll show you all the locations I've found bees on the loose, starting with green op. Start at the center of the terminal and look outwards along the ramps along the side, this bridge through the middle or the canyon ahead, you'll often find a bee on the loose. For reference, here are the coordinates and where we are on the map. Listen for the sounds and look for fluttering movement. And as you can see ahead here, we have spotted a bee. Take a moment to get yourself ready. Make sure you've got your bug spray and put the taming food, either the kibble or the rare flower into the last slot in your hot bar. Put on your bug spray and approach straight for the queen. Try and look at its butt and then hit your prompt and you will get your taming in. When you get stung, there's a debuff. You'll see that in the bottom right that makes it really hard to move. You have trouble running and if you're on a team, you'll get dismounted. Walk away as fast as you can and then eventually you'll be able to run away. The worker bees will chase you, but eventually they'll die off if they get far enough away from the queen. How many rare flowers you need to feed it is dependent on your taming rates. On official servers with one times rates, you'll definitely need more than one feed. On small tribes or servers with boosted rates, you may only get away with one feed. Same thing with kibble versus rare flowers. The bees actually prefer kibble, so sometimes you can feed it with just one kibble. Here we're able to approach the bee and get our second feed in. I highly recommend turning on the taming tracker as that will tell you how close you are to having the bee fully tamed. Keep an eye on your health and have some med brews or food if you need it. Approach for your final feed and once you get it in, your bee will be tamed. Then hold down the radial menu and obtain the beehive. Don't stop the video here though because I'm going to show you some of the other locations and things that can go wrong when taming bees. The next spot you can find a loose bee is on the left hand side cliffs here along this small inlet. Scan the cliff edges for movement and the sounds of a bee. For reference, here we are on the map and here are the coordinates. I've spotted a bee up here just against the cliff edge. I'm going to land put on my bug spray and try and approach. But the queen's moved out of the way, so we'll follow. If you attract the attention of the angry workers, fly away and land where it's safe to do so. She's in this little pocket up there that might be tricky to get to, but we're gonna try. And here is some of the issues. As we've landed, we've gotten stuck in the cliff edge. We're constantly getting stung. I tried to fight my way out, but then fell and died. So in a case like this, my recommendation in order to make this go smoothly is to wait until the bee gets to the ground. And when it's down, approach it to try and tame. Here I was not getting the prompt to tame it, even though I had the correct kibble. I'm not sure if I was not getting the right spot to hit the feed prompt or this one is bugged. I tried again another time, but was having no luck. Sometimes switching between first and third person can give you the prompt, but it didn't work out for me. Before I show you the next location, I wanna talk about bees that are on the loose, when typically we've always tamed them from hives. The locations where I'm finding bees on the loose are very similar to beehive locations in the original Ark Survival Evolved, like this one here at Green Ob, or this one here on a very similar cliff face on Survival Evolved. I'm not sure if the bees that are loose in the environment are actually supposed to be beehives and there was an issue with collision of cliffs, or it's a new feature of the game, because when I look at this location in the new Ark Survival Ascended, I found a bee on the loose right next to the waterfall by Red Orb. The coordinates for that spot are 84.1 and 17.5. I found another bee by the lake further up from the waterfall stream, just on the right hand side here. This bee was found at 77.7 and 17. Again, this one was a little tricky to tame. I would get the prompt and then lose it and get stung. But the nice thing is I could jump in the water and the bees won't chase you under the water. 
This spot was a little awkward. I had to use a grapple and I had trouble seeing the bee, but I finally got the prompt and was able to tame it. The next spot I found a bee was further north near Hidden Lake in this canyon. The coordinates were 23.1 and 68.4. This was a pretty straightforward place to tame them. And in fact, there was two there, so I tamed them both. If you can't find any bees that are loose on the map or it gets patched and they get turned back into beehives, I'm gonna show you how to get the queen out of the hive. Beehives have a health of 5,000. You can use your spyglass to check on the overall health of a beehive. To release the queen, you have to destroy the hive. You can do that with the weapon, but I don't think it's the best way to do it as it wastes a lot of ammo and takes a really long time. As you can see here, a full clip from a shotgun only does a couple hundred damage to the nest. My preferred method to destroy the nest is to use a dino and I like to use a Dimorphodon. And an extra tip, you can actually feed bug spray to your creatures. Turn off following and make sure the behavior is set to attack your target. Then whistle attack on the beehive. It will attack the hive and do damage. It'll also get chased by bees. If it seems to be getting distracted by the worker bees, remember just to keep whistling onto the hive. You might have to do this a few times. If it appears like it's stunned or in trouble, you can whistle follow and passive and move away. You can check on its health, and if needed, you can force feed it some raw meat to heal. Don't forget to use your spyglass to check on the health of the nest and continue the process. When the Dimorphodon breaks through the nest, whistle passive. You don't want it to attack the queen. And then make sure you keep an eye on the queen if it's up high and follow which direction it's heading to. One of my biggest issues is losing the queen, just like I did here. Follow the direction it went and search patiently. One of the biggest giveaways is the sound of the bee, that weird sound it makes when it releases its drones. And tame it with the steps that I showed you before, remembering your bug spray and watching out for the drones. Another method I like to use is to attack the nest while riding a flyer. Now this is very dangerous and you have to be patient. What you need to do is fly up to the nest and just take one peck at it and then fly away. The angry worker bees will follow you. Make sure you go a certain distance away from the nest for them to follow and then just die off. Watch out for other threats like this styler over here. The reason why I recommend only doing one peck is that if the bees sting you, you will immediately get dismounted from your creature. And that can be all kinds of bad, especially in the red ones. So repeat this process over and over again and monitor the progress with your spyglass. When the nest finally breaks, you'll hear it and you'll see the queen come out. The next creature you can try is a bear. Bears actually are able to gather honey and destroy nests without being stung by bees. They're immune to the attacks, but with the hives high up on trees, the bears can't reach. So you'll have to grab some building materials to overcome this. This is kind of cumbersome and a bit annoying, but you'll see here that we can easily swipe for honey we could leave it at that and take our honey and go. Or we can use the bear to destroy the nests. And as you can see, the bear is immune to the worker bee sting. So you can just keep at it and release the queen really quickly. The next method involves equipment, no dinos. What you need is a grapple and use it to get up to the beehive. Then you want to use C4 to blow the hive. You need a detonator and I use two or three charges. Place them on the tree just above the hive. Use your grapple to get back to the ground and when you're a safe distance away, blow the C4. And kaboom, the hive is gone and the queen is released. After you have the hive in your inventory, you'll need to place it down. You can place them now on the ground, on foundations, and also on top of other structures. To keep the bees fed and for them to start producing honey, you need to put rare flower into the inventory. To collect honey, you access the inventory. If you're wearing ghillie, you won't get stung. And if you've got bug repellent on, you also won't get stung. But if you access the inventory without ghillie or bug spray, you will get stung and you'll see the debuff in the right hand side corner. And this can kind of hurt, so keep that in mind. Honey has a lot of uses in the game. Firstly, it can be used as a preferred taming food for some teams such as the Diabear, the Megatherium, and the Leopluridon. If you put the honey in your hotbar and press the key to use it, it will launch into the environment and attract creatures to it. You can use it to lure creatures over, and once eaten, it actually calms them down. This is a property that can become really helpful when sailing the seas in Ark. Typically, when you're on a raft or a motorboat, you're always subject to the dangers of the leads. These creatures love to attack boats and destroy them. However, if you throw honey off the side, it will attract the leads away from your raft and actually calm it down, giving you enough time to make a getaway. 
Honey is an essential ingredient for the top tier kibble, extraordinary kibble. It's also used as a component in the sweet vegetable cake, which can help heal herbivores and is used to tame some creatures. Honey is also the premium bait for fishing in arc, which is a great way to get blueprints. Honey is awesome because it works on both coelacanths and saber tooth salmon. That's everything you need to know about taming bees and using honey in ARC. If you learnt something new, subscribe to the channel because I have a lot more guides just like this one. Or you can click this one right here.